What's going on YouTube? My name is Crips and today I'm bringing you a look at Mass Effect 3 multiplayer and specifically the Vanguard as well. First I'm just going to go over a basis of what the multiplayer actually is and then I will uh, explain more about the Vanguard. If you just want to skip ahead to the Vanguard because you already know what the multiplayer is about then uh, you can do, I'll just leave an annotation on the screen onto where the actual Vanguard part is. I don't know how long this video will be, it shouldn't be too long I don't think. There is quite a bit to cover, um, so let's get straight into it. Hang on, let me just put my headphones on. There we go, I can actually hear the game volume now. So. I'm just going to tell you what the mod play is about and basically it's horde mode so a lot of games have been doing this uh, as you know um, Gears of War starting it originally uh, basically wave after wave of enemy I'm not sure how many waves there are uh, in bronze I think there's 11 waves at the moment I don't know if in silver and gold increases I haven't actually gotten around to playing silver and gold level yet but basically um, it's that and you know enemies, there's new types of enemies as you move further on, harder, you know, uh, bigger enemies as well and they've added some cool stuff within the game as well you know to make it a little bit different like there's in-game missions one the sort of king of the hill type thing where you have to get everyone standing in a little area and hold it off um, to upload some data uh, another one will be kill four targets and you know for each target you've got a minute to kill them uh, there'll be some other ones that will. No, oh, <laughs> got an invite. There'll be some other ones as well that will. Um... Oh god, I've lost my train of thought now. That uh, yeah, you just basically have to hold A on a section whilst your teammates cover you and do that four times in a level as well. So there's those, and that's what earns you credits. And if you go to the store. Uh, credits you can buy either a recruit pack or a veteran pack. There's not really much different between these packs except for um, you get a uncommon in a veteran pack guaranteed whereas you have a chance uh, for an uncommon so you actually might not get one if you just buy a recruit pack. To be honest I've got better stuff out of a recruit pack than I have of a veteran pack so it's up to you whether you, you know just take your chance or make sure you're guaranteed at least one uncommon by going for a veteran pack. Uh, currently I have no, not enough credits to do that in the moment. Um, hopefully I'll show you what it is at the uh, end. So if I go into my character, um, you get multiple characters to choose from. So you get Vanguard Infiltrator, you know, all the classes that are basically on Mass Effect. Uh, I've always played as Vanguard so I'm sticking with Vanguard. And this is how you want to spec your Vanguard really. Um, into powers you want to get biotic charge as highest and as quickest as possible and I'll just show you how I've done my bi biotic charge I think this is the best way um, for horde so I've gone for radius so I can charge into a group of people and stun them all uh, or hit well two additional ones will be stunned generally you don't really get clumps of uh, like eight enemies or anything like that it'll generally just be like maybe two or three four at the most enemies so Radius is really good for that. Um, then I've gone for Weapon Synergy, which gives me a buff for three seconds uh, with weapon damage. And um, basically, you know, you just charge in, you go in with a shotgun, and you can just destroy everything. You destroy this, the standard guys in like one shot, so it's really good. Power Synergy, um, I don't recommend really, unless you're going for. You, unless you're using Biotic Charge to actually kill enemies, which. I don't really recommend doing, I uh, don't see the point. You basically want to use Biotic Charge to keep your health or to keep your shields regenerating constantly and <clears throat> and yeah that brings me on to the, um, the last one which is Barrier which basically gives you a hundred percent of your barrier restored every time you hit a successful Biotic Charge which is pretty much most times um, and that one I mean, gives you a 25% chance of not triggering cooldown. If you look at my cooldown, it's four and a half seconds. And I'll tell you how to get a cooldown like that. Um, but I suppose if you have a high cooldown, <coughs> excuse me, you might want that 
but even trying that in the single player, um, I'm not, I wasn't not too very good. I'm not too good with uh, like luck based things. I don't really like um, basing things on luck, so I just generally go with what's given, you know, what's assured like that. Um, so if you want shock, I don't know shockwave nova. I, I, honestly, I don't use these. I don't see the point in using them. Biotic charge is all you need. I think. Uh, definitely Mass Effect 2, after you did a ability, all your abilities went on cooldown. I don't know if they've changed that in this game. So whereas you can do a Biotic Charge and a Shot and then an Over, and then, you know, you that's they're individually cooling down. I don't know if that will work. Um, so yeah, I would, I would just stick with Charge. And then Alliance Training is just weapon damage, and Fitness is just your yeah, health and shields. So, to get a insanely short cooldown, uh, you're basically just going to have to go in with one weapon. Uh, I don't recommend going in with multiple weapons. Like, say, if you add a sniper rifle, um, that recharge speed is minus 78%, and then if you go back in here and buy to charge, 15.33 seconds cooldown. No. <laughs> it's just not worth it. You lose your shields and health so quickly, uh, even on um, bronze difficulty, so it's really not worth it. Uh, if you if you want to, you can go in with just a pistol, and it's like a three and a half second cooldown. But to be honest, because you're charging into groups of enemies, I recommend a shotgun. And the only shotgun at the moment is a katana. I've got the katana Mark II at the moment. I don't know if there's any more shotguns in the demo. I'm sure there'll be more options in the actual full game. So yeah, just um, this is the first time I actually tried going in with just one weapon, so I don't know how I'm going to do like armor-wise and stuff. Um, armor-wise? What am I saying? Ammo-wise and stuff. But yeah, there's like spots on the map where you can just refill your ammo instantly, so, and that's like infinite. Uh, appearance is, well, what you expect. Appearance. Uh, equipment. This is what you get from the store. So you get um, supplies. Cover missile launcher is basically a giant missile that pretty much kills everything which is um, pretty awesome pretty overpowered but yeah it's pretty good taking out the atlases um, then you get thermal clips which basically refill your ammo uh, without having to go back to an ammo point uh, medi gel which means you can revive yourself which is pretty useful as a vanguard considering you're going to be off by yourself quite a bit and if you make a mistake uh, chances are you, you're going to go down and then you need to um, Heal yourself and not let your teammates, you know, because of your silly mistake. Op survival pack. I haven't used one, but I believe they basically instantly refill your health and barrier as well. So pretty much like a free biotic charge. So that's basically how you should spec your Vanguard. Um, high. Not so much high damaging biotic charge, but basically getting the weapon buffs and using it. So basically, keep yourself alive and keep your barrier recharging constantly. I mean, four and a half seconds for basically full shields again is uh, it's really good. So we're just going to go into quick match. Um, any location? Have they actually taken? When you went into any location, normally you get a plus ten percent um, XP buff, which is really nice. Because it stops you saying going on the easier maps and then just like whoring all the easier maps and actually not playing any of the other maps. But I don't know if they've gotten rid of that or plus 10% XP because that was a nice idea. And we're just going to go for the bronze challenge, um, just purpose of demonstration. And yeah, see if we can get into a game. I've not really had a decent connection for a game yet. Generally, the ones I've played have been sort of firefight style. Um, well, it looks like I'm the highest level here, which is unusual. I mean, I was playing with a level 17 infiltrator, and <laughs> I was a level four. I'm just gonna, um, I won't need them actually. Keep them. And I was a level 4 uh, Vanguard and I was outscoring the level 17 Infiltrator. So I definitely think a Vanguard is a great choice for um, this new game mode. <laughs> it's really good. I was uh, a little bit <sighs> sceptical. I was thinking um, they weren't going to do a good job of it. 
and sort of cock up on the single player, maybe, you know, sacrifice time and stuff. I'm actually going to move this guy. But no, they've done it really well, and the single player from the demo looks really good, um, as you expect from a Bioware game, so. No, I think we're just going to go in, just um, the two of us. Maybe I shouldn't have muted him then if it's just two of us. Oh no, I've been kicked out, okay. Uh, we'll try searching again. Hopefully we can get into a full lobby and just start going. I think we can just go in with like a couple of people. Don't have to be a full, but obviously if it's full it's going to be easier. And it may have put me as host, which would be a very bad idea. Um, so we've got two soldiers. Uh, as of balancing sort of teams. I suppose you could. You could have a guy who's just using biotics. I mean, the singularity ability is pretty good at um, lifting guys who have shields and stuff. Um, but as far as the other classes, I don't know. Each class has their advantage and disadvantage. My right, soldier. Honestly, I've never played any other class other than a vanguard in Mass Effect. <laughs> I just um, never saw the point. I've always enjoyed using the Vanguard. And it looks like the demo is going to mess up. Which would be bad and annoying. And if it does just mess up, I'll just cut this bit out and then get to a bit where it actually is working. Please wait. This could be because it's my host, probably. Ah, okay, we're in. Okay, good. So I have a shotgun and a shotgun. Well, one shotgun. And it doesn't look like the other guy's connected. Yeah, that's my internet down to a T. So, looks like we're going to try and solo this, which I've never done. And you can see how fast you lose your shields, but... Charge straight back in, and then you got your shields back. Yeah. This is probably not going to be too successful because I'm just by myself. But you can see you can keep up the aggression constantly using charge because your shields are always coming back every time you hit charge. that guy in the face, miss him with a shotgun. Hit this guy, see you just, just what's really good is you're always in the action and it's non-stop. So if you're sort of a rushing type person, you'll definitely enjoy this class a lot. I had a guy over here, there he is. Yeah, you can see the shotguns are pretty damn good in uh, this game. Not so much good at range, but that's a shotgun for you. Well, hopefully we'll get some people joining mid-session. I think that can happen. I know people on your friends list can join mid-session. See if we can knock this guy off the map. Yeah, that's always good. If you see them pop up there on this map, you can just immediately knock them down. Some guys... Um, can't be knocked. Yeah, there's that 15% bonus kicking in. I'd... So you can constantly keep up the aggression. I don't know where that guy's going. I had to reload, so you got lucky. Hopefully you can quickly teleport up. Grenades. I don't think I've ever been hit by a grenade. Gives you so much warning for when they're going to blow up. So. Oh, I might actually. Nope. That four and a half seconds is just so beneficial. So it's definitely worth going in with just one weapon. And I'd, I'd say the shotgun is definitely the best. 
problem is I've only got one missile and all right so these are the um the waves uh, the waves what am I about the objectives and this is sort of the king of the hill one so you see this blue area around me where I have to stay in this area for uh, until the hacking is complete so I'm not uploading this time I'm hacking so I'm just gonna sit here um, those guys can camp out there uh, I'm not gonna bother them gonna throw a grenade but that's no problem oh he's not dead and I missed and I missed again that's not good I know I'm out of range I need my shields back Take them out. I think that guy's actually still alive. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those snipers because they'll just take out your shields instantly. If you do that, you know, immediately want to charge and hit something. So we've almost hacked. Let's just check over here. There's a grenade there. And we're going to get overrun here, so we're going to need to basically get some ammo. I think I'm going to have to spend my ability to get some ammo back. I generally don't bother with the melee. Um, it's not really, it's okay, I suppose. The melee, uh, melee, melee, whatever, however you want to be. Yeah, fire from, firing from the hip generally isn't a good idea. You generally want to always um, aim down the sights. Check out the Centurion. Yeah, you can just see definitely with like more abilities. I hate these guys. These guys are always hard to hit. I've got weird hitboxes on them. I'm just gonna punch him. So yeah, I don't expect to get much further because it is quite difficult by yourself. I mean, you can see how fast my shields are going down. Um, if I was playing any other class, I would probably be dead by now. Uh, just because I couldn't recharge. Oh, that's probably not a good idea. That's the radius thing kicking in and helping me stun multiple people. Like if I went just for the individual one, uh, I may have died there. Charge back in with some shields. This guy behind me with a sniper. Where, where is he? There he is. Yeah, they generally just run off. Target him. And that melee is pretty dangerous. I've never seen the melee before. It's the phantoms you want to watch out for. Those guys can really screw you up. Let's grab some more ammo quickly. These guys, that's the guys you want to use like singularity on and stuff. Because they can be a real pain in the ass to uh, take out, especially when you're by yourself. So I'm just going to leave him to the end. Sort of just take out everyone else first. Try and get these guys coming a little bit closer. The good thing about charge is that it has sort of no no range or anything, like no range limitations. You can no, oh, still that used to follow me. You can still you can like fly around the map and stuff, and yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. And you can fly like upwards like that, go through walls. As long as they're not crouching in cover, you can charge them. And it should just be the shield guy left, so let's try and deal with him. I mean, this is the only thing you can do is shoot a shield and then try and shoot him in the feet. There we go. But obviously, Singularity, you know, will just put him in the air and easy to uh, take him out that way. Get 
Oh no, we're off my mind for the wedding. Okay. Copy that! Find him! Uh Nemesis when not off the map. Grenade, just move away from that. Make sure we get the high ground. Because we don't want to get overrun down that. Down the landing zone over there. Another guardian I can't deal with at the moment. Sniper, centurion, okay, okay. Let's see if we got anyone down here. Someone close range and not in the open. Yeah, it's a really enjoyable class to use. These guys are just absolutely annoying. Yeah, nice try. Jump off. Yep, I don't think so, mate. Nice try. I haven't been around this area of the map. As far as sort of holding out, I suppose you could. I mean, it really depends what class you're using. Sniper's probably best just standing in one position. AI yeah, is not too intelligent. As you see, you know, it'll just sort of climb away for some reason. I don't know. Guardians, oh, they're such a pain in the ass. They are the bane. Bane of my existence. Bane of the Vanguard's existence. Oh God, Shotgun, I love you. The, the one in the, um... Oh, okay, that was a failed charge. Or some sort of weird game messing up. I think that's the second 50 Shotgun kills I've got. I don't know. Or maybe it was 50 kills that popped up, so it's just the Guardians left. Uh, Charge a while to uh, work there. Be the charge recoils them. Alright, five waves done. Whew, still not got to the big guys yet, or the phantoms, or anything like that, so I uh, expect to fail soon. Alright. Let's get towards this intel as fast as possible. Now, I don't know if you fail these. This is another King of the Hill one, it looks like, as well. Oh, that's a lot of guys to think about this. Combat engine. Oh, I've just. Yeah, okay, run away. No, nope, not in cover. Right. What you saw over there was a turret. And a turret will mess you up in a heartbeat. Uh, this does not look good. We can one of them. God, I really don't like the cover system on Mass Effect. It's nowhere near as smooth as it should be. It certainly is a Gears of War smooth. And that guy just completely resisted the biotic charge. Oh, god damn. Yeah. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do this objective, so I don't know if you fail the objectives, whether you just fail the mission. And it looks like that turret's disappeared now, and I charged the wrong. Oh, because there's another turret. Yeah, that's a turret, and they're pretty ridiculous, and they'll just um, take you out pretty quickly. Let's get my shields off that guy in the way. Goddamn guardians are annoying. Just keep charging. 
and yeah, you can see how effective it is. I mean, you can imagine this with support of, you know, three of the teammates. We would have had this objective pretty easily. Um, and that goddamn turret is just ridiculous. Alright, I'm out of ammo, so let's just grab some ammo here. We're going to try and funnel um, guys down here. Yeah, they're not too smart with their grenades, really. Seventy-five kills, not too bad. Generally, you get about hundred thousand XP a game. Uh, it's quite a lot of XP. Probably get more if you actually manage to do it by yourself, but I mean, it's quite difficult, especially by yourself. Now, I've already died once, I only managed to get back up because I had some medigel on me. Um, unfortunately, that was my only medigel though. Goddamn guardians are ridiculous. Yeah, I'm interested to know whether I fail or not if I don't do the, uh, the actual. West, whether it's mandatory or, or bonus. There's nothing I can do with like, that turret's in there. I need to take out that combat engineer. Grab some ammo. Those guardians are catching up now. The turret is just ridiculous. Time is out. Charge back in again. See if I can get to this. Oh, he's putting another turret down. Yeah, that turret is going to be the death of me. Unless I can get through. Not get stuck on walls. Charge that guy. If there's a class that you can actually put these turrets down, Jesus Christ, it would be overpowered. I think there's one that you can actually be an engineer. But I don't know if you can put those type of turrets down. Yeah, you can just see how quickly it just annihilates your shields. And I'm definitely not going to get this uh, objective done, so we'll see if it just fails the mission. If it fails the mission, I think I've shown shown off the Vanguard pretty well. You can see how good it is. So yeah, it does fail you. So those missions are mandatory then, and you get, you know, credits for doing them, so I can see why they made them mandatory. But yeah, that was a look at the Vanguard, and... Um, just pretty much how good it is. I think it's, it works really well. Obviously, it works better in a team of four. Um, 39,000 XP is not too bad considering we were by ourselves. Got 50 shotgun kills, only 10 headshots, 75 kills in total, or 5 ways to five. So, yeah, not too bad. I'll just show you guys um, the. Uh, whatever this is called. The store quickly. So, if we buy a recruit pack. Um, we'll see in the recruit pack. So we got another missile. Uh, we got a medigel. Uh, applies a shield bonus for one mission. Sniper rifle, spare thermal clip, which they're useless for me, and a submachine gun as well, which is useless. Um, so yeah, that's how it really works, and then it will tell you what we got new. So probably should have used one of these, but I mean. I can't use any of these because I don't use those weapons. And I don't know what ammo bonus is. I'm guessing it's like cryo ammo and incendiary ammo, maybe. Uh, like the full game. But yeah, anyway, that was a quick look at the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer as well as the Vanguard and how to use the Vanguard effectively. Uh, fortunately, we can get a game with. 
uh, more people because um, yeah my internet is incapable of hosting anything so yeah uh, thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and if you would like to leave a like rating I know I don't really I don't really ask for likes and anything like that so I'm, I'm gonna ask this time around so yeah, if you could leave a like rating if you enjoyed and yeah I will speak to you guys next time. Uh-huh.